I swim team. So today we have a haircut video. You feel me? Before the video start, I wanna I wanna throw a disclaimer out there. I'm not a professional barber. And it's something I do for as a hobby. I have no intentions of being a barber, but I do have intentions of saving you some bread. Okay? I know some of y'all, wherever you live at, your barber taxing you, charging you an arm and a leg, a whole cell phone bill, just just to, you know what I'm saying? Just just to cut your hair. So I figure I'll show y'all some tips and tricks to get you right. Y'all know I'm spinning now, don't get it twisted. Ah right, yeah, so let me show y'all this joint. This, these my these my late this my Lakers, you know what I'm saying? This is the Laker brush right here. Let me show y'all. You feel me? You feel me? I'm, I'm spinning. Alright, so I'm gonna show y'all. You feel me? How to go from looking like I just spent time in the pen, fresh out of solitary confinement, to looking like I can steal your baby moms from you. Eh? Enjoy the video. Alright, so the first thing I did when I started to cut was I started combing my hair. Yeah. But really, <laughs> to be honest, when I started combing my hair this time, it's been a minute since I washed my head, and I started seeing all the dandruff, so I got lost in combing my joint just to see how white my shirt was going to get. I don't know if y'all paying attention, but look how white my shirt is. My shirt is pretty damn white. <laughs> then um, I started brushing, you know, just getting my pattern out because, you know, I got waves. And the reason I do that is because when I cut my hair, I always cut with the grain. Like, I don't go against the grain. I don't, I don't do none of that. I always cut with the grain. Agents, we blowing our grapes for the flavors. All of a sudden, we made just independent by no label. But now I'm going hard enough that the streams will. So, uh, this right here is probably the most important thing you can do for your clippers. A lot of y'all know that I've been complaining about the bumps in the back of my neck. And the reason I have the bumps in the back of my neck is because I wasn't cleaning my clippers. So, when I bought this spray right here, I made sure that I made good use of it. You feel me? In the back of that joint, it said cure AIDS. Well, it don't cure AIDS, but you know what I'm saying? It kills AIDS. You can see it when you look into my eyes. When you look into my eyes, you can see it. All right, so with the cut, first thing I did was I created a ball line with my my liners. You feel me? And um, I was a little shy with the ball line, but you know it was a it was a step. Then I put the guard on. I forgot what guard this was, but this is probably the lowest guard you're gonna have with your uh, with your trimmers. I had the guard uh, all the way closed, I believe, and I made a guideline. Guidelines are your friend. You feel me? You could look at any hair tutorial from a professional barber, and you will see that they do guidelines. Guidelines are definitely definitely your friend. And you know, I could have probably started with the hair. I could have probably started with my hair like cut down to the length I wanted to, and then do like the the ball lines and the taper and start the taper. But I wasn't sure, and for me, this is easier for me because then, depending on how the um the taper looks, I'll be able to kind of match my hair length with it. If that makes sense. I knew I was going with a one though, but I wanted to kind of start off with the taper first. It's all look, let me tell you something. When you're doing this, it's always up to you. Whatever method you got going on, as long as the end results come out fire, do what's comfortable for you. Alright, so now <clears throat> I'm just kind of matching everything up or whatever, making sure everything is, is copacetic. I'm knocking out the first uh, guideline that I put, and then, um, yeah, I'm just knocking out the first guideline that I put, man. Alright, so you see how the, you see everything is is you know what I'm saying everything is coming together. It's still not perfect, but it's coming together. I tried using this guard. I forgot what number this guard is, but the T 
teeth of the guard is really wide. Maybe the professional barbers in the comment section tell me what guard this is. But I tried using this just to kind of um take down a little bit of the bulk in my head. But after a while, I realized that it wasn't really, it really wasn't working the way I thought it was going to work. So I moved to the, to the one guard. So I started with the one guard all the way open. And I started taking down, um, taking down my head. I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, right, yeah, he kind of nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lady. And now you can see me, I'm going to the back. And the way I do the back of my joint is I go with the grain, I go with my pattern. Never go against the pattern, especially for the back. And then make sure when you get around your crown area, you got to make sure that either the guard is a lot higher so you, or you just kind of all together stay away from the crown area depending on how high or how low it is because you know once you start cutting the, the crown the same length as everything else you just gonna look like you got a bald ass crown especially for the, the, the pattern I got you know what I mean alright so with the hairline I started baby tapping it I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I started baby tapping it. And you can see how bad my calic is right here. So I was brave about it. Like I knew what I was planning to do. I knew I was planning to push my hairline back just a little bit because I knew that it was gonna um it was gonna what you call it? It was gonna mash the the uh the calic. It was one time I went to a barber and he like completely like hid the calic and I couldn't figure out how he did it. You know, and I feel as though it's because he pushed my hairline back a little bit. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't go back too far. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, it, it just didn't look too, too bad. And, oh, another thing too. Not only did I like push my hairline back, but I, I angled it up a little bit. Not to the point where you could notice that it's kind of like crooked. Like it don't look crooked, but you know what I'm saying? I I finagled it, bro. I'm not going to lie. I finagled it. That's why I'm really proud of this haircut. Ain't nobody done it like this. I'm having fun. I'm wild. I spaz when I turn with the stylus. I'm breaking them up with the hits. Only got one life to live. I'm antisocial at the function. They make me out to be the bad guy. My circle micro, if you had a scope, you still couldn't see us through the glass eyes. Real evasive when it's average chases. Dressed to kill like I'm going places. Better late than fake, just hoping that we make it. Pray we ain't make it through the night. Oh, we ain't make it through the night. You can see it. When you look into my eyes, yeah. When you look into my eyes, you can see it. I'm crying all day. Now, with my beard, I wanted my beard to kind of fade into the, um, into the taper. So that's the reason when I started, I did the um, I did the ball line or whatever, and so when I started my bed, I put like a line to kind of clean it up, and you know like I feel as though this is improvement. If you've been on my channel and you you've been seeing like me cut my own hair, this is definitely improvement. Like look at this cut, man. This cut is definitely an improvement. I'm definitely proud of this cut right here. I feel as though it could be better. It definitely could be better. Now, there's always room for improvement. But for somebody who's never been to barber school, I feel as though this is this is a great cut. I'm proud of this cut. Let them go 